Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Reading. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is the general reading. Let's see what message comes through. So what I see here is that a decision has been made for a big shift, a big change. This to my masculine in this reading, whoever this resonates for, they're no longer stuck in a situation. They recognize that they have messed up, meaning that they feel like they messed up with their relationship with Divine Feminine. They feel like Divine Feminine has moved forward, moved on. There's this fear that they've lost Divine Feminine, that there's probably not much hope left. This is what they're thinking. They're thinking about how to restore the connection if there's a possibility to, uh, there's something about like rejuvenate, restart, to rebuild. It's like, I want to start fresh. I want to start new. It, it's like a rebirth. It's like they want to start this, this relationship, this connection with Divine Feminine fresh and new. Right now, their only focus is on Divine Feminine. They only focus on you. They're going to take the necessary steps to make this transformation, this, this new beginning take place. I see here, if it means that I need to just sell all my things, let go of things, sell my car, quit my, my job, if it means I need to do all that to be with my Divine Feminine, then that's what I'll do. This masculine is willing to start from scratch. This masculine is willing to let go of things that was once important to this Divine Masculine. There might It might involve some kind of financial loss. It's like they might let things go for free even. It's like their furniture, they might just, you know, not even sell it. It's like, I'm just going to give it away for free because I need to get out of here. I need to make this move. They feel this urgency that I need to do it soon. I can't waste any more time. And I feel like time has passed. A good, good amount of time has passed for this Divine Masculine. They may be older. They may have gray hairs. They may be, you know, different now in appearance, but... I feel like deep down this Divine Masculine is still that useful, not useful, that youthful energy that you once knew. There's something about, I'm still me, you know, it's still me. When, they, when they're with you, Divine Feminine, they feel like they can be themselves. Around people, this Masculine may appear like they have aged, they have grown, they have matured. But when it comes to Divine Feminine here, I feel like you bring out that youthfulness, that energy, that glow within this Divine Masculine. And they may not even realize that. But I feel like when they are with this Divine Feminine, that, that lively part of them that they once were, when they were with you, will come out again. Of course, there will be that maturity. That part will be there. That will remain. But that essence, that that authentic self, that part is going to shine. And they they themselves don't realize that they still have it within them. They feel like they've changed a lot where where they they may have lost certain parts of themselves in the process, but for some reason they feel like when when they see you, it's like it's still it's just me. It's I'm still me. So there's something about accepting that they are who they are when they are with you. The idea of reconnecting with Divine Feminine here, I see that they're really excited about it. They're happy about it. And they're going to keep it hidden. They don't want the wrong people uh, to hear this news. They don't want 
meaning that people who may interfere or try to sabotage, they don't want people to come in the way. Not that they're going to allow it to happen. It's not going to change their mind or anything like that. But it's just that they don't want the drama. They don't want anybody to ruin this beautiful moment of that reconnection with you, of rebuilding with you. If it means that they have to be a little bit private about it, they will they will be. But they will they will also um give enough information to those who need to hear it because they don't want you to feel like why are you keeping our reconnect a secret kind of thing. So when when they reconnect with divine feminine, they will want to at first not disclose it to anyone or maybe very little. But eventually they will share something because they don't want you to feel like you two are having this kind of like um, secret relationship. They don't want it to appear that way. It's just that they, they will go in this kind of protective mode that for the time being, let's just keep it to ourselves because we've reconnected after a long period of time. But once you two start to reestablish that connection as it should have been, right? So it becomes more stronger, more tangible, right? That's when this Divine Masculine will feel like, okay, now we can share it with our family, our loved ones, that sort of thing. So, But I feel like they will not delay too much in it in that because they don't want you to second guess or to doubt in any way. So it's just that it has to do with timing. When's the right time to share it with others? But for this Divine Masculine, the priority is not about others. The priority is about you. So they're going to put you as a priority. It's like, I want to make sure that my divine feminine is comfortable and comfortable with the fact that I have returned, that we are in this relationship. I don't want my feminine to have doubts. And at the same time, I want to make sure that that giving priority to this connection means to not only rebuild, but to make it much more stronger So so that this... The separation cannot take place again. And I feel like this masculine is not worried about separation happening. It's just that for their peace of mind, they want to make it very strong, strong enough so that they don't have that thought. That thought will not even come to mind. It's like I've made this, I've made my foundation so strong with divine feminine that it's unstoppable. So that's what I see here. Wow, this new beginning between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, it's a new beginning. Like when I say new beginning, it's like it's like a whole new world. Things will change. It's like, for example, Divine Feminine, in this reading, you come across as someone who's like a, a queen. So the energy of a queen, somebody who's well-established, somebody who's continuing to grow, to build, right? And some of you are getting to that point where things are starting to change, right? So say if you have, if you feel that you've already built your empire, things are going to change up for both of you because you may feel like, okay, I've built this, this part of my life already. And now Divine Masculine is an addition to that, that life, right? But what I see here that it's not an addition, there's going to be a transformation to whatever you have built. So what you have built for yourself is now going to be transformative. So it's going to be transferred in in a way that both of you will be able to give, provide, to utilize, to share, to build even stronger with both of your capabilities, with both of your strengths, with both of your skills, with both of your energy. You see? So it's like level up, up, up. And same goes for Divine Masculine. Whatever this Divine Masculine may have built, the skills, the the ideas that they're, they're going to be transformed to include divine feminine because now you're going to be basically a team right so energetically you've always been there for each other energetically but now in the you know in the physical it's going to be more apparent that these two are connected to this idea these two are connected to this task these two are connected to this so it's like it's going to involve both of you.
that new beginning I see here, it it makes you very strong, strong in your belief, strong in your faith, strong in what you stand for, your strength. You not only will you know yourself really well, divine feminine, you will know each other very well. I see here that there's not going to be that questioning. It's like you don't even have to question yourselves anymore, like to each other. It's more of like before it could have been like, what is this divine masculine really mean? What are they thinking? Why are they acting like that? It's not going to be any of that. Once this reconnect happens and you two are, you know, well, your foundation is quite firm. I see here that you just look at each other and you know, it's like, I know. You don't have to say anything. And it comes in handy, especially if there's a third person in the room. Like, say, if you're having a conversation and then, you know, you want to say or share something with each other. It's like you just look at them a certain way. They know what you're thinking. You don't even have to explain. And some of you have already had this. It's kind of like um, you may feel like it's a gift that you two have. Some of you had already experienced that where you just look at each other. If somebody else was in the room having conversation with you. And you just look at each other a certain way. They're like, yeah, I know what you mean. Or I know what you're feeling. If if you give a certain look to your masculine, you're like, you know, it's time for us to go from this, you know, party. Let's let's leave. Without saying anything, your masculine's like, oh, you know what? We have to go somewhere. Like looking at his watch, it's like, okay, it's time for us to go. So your, your masculine and you will already know each other quite well. And some of you have already experienced that, but it's going to be heightened to the next level. So this is a reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.